night of the Lord, Yeshua, once again, we're out on the streets, we're trying to be in the trenches, do the work of the Lord, we're trying to seek and save that which was lost, the harvest is truly, the truly plenty, but the labors are few, we're definitely hitting here, San Diego community, um, the Bible says that I drain you, that you shall bear fruit, and your fruit shall remain, it says, you are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid, no man lighteth a candle and put it in a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it lighteth the whole house that all that are in may have light. So let your light so shine before man that they may see your good works and glorify your Father uh, which is in heaven. So we out here trying to put these flyers out. That a chance to save souls, a chance to bring people to the Almighty and push the push the line, push the work, be in the trenches, actually go out and do the work of the Lord and not just say they do the work of the Lord, not just say they believe, but hey, go out and seek and save that which is lost. So uh a well done is better than a well said, so let's get busy. I'd rather, I would rather go up a thousand flights of stairs if I could save one soul. It says there is joy in the presence of all the angels for one sinner that comes to repentance than the 99 that need no repentance. So it's worth it for me. I'm always gonna be pushing the line. I'm always gonna be doing the work of the Lord. All day long, all day strong for the Lord. Gotta work while it's yet day. Cause night coming when no man can work. If we're saying we love our neighbors, we should be concerned about their soul salvation. So uh, how can we say we love our neighbor if we just go to work, go to church and go home, go to work, go to church and go home, and we don't go out and seek souls? That makes no sense. And if you really love your neighbor, you're telling the true Hebrews United, the Lord, you're sure, bam, Facebook and subscribe. Also, one more thing. I seen these liquor store churches putting the flyers on the door, have the little cross and all their graven images. I'm ripping them up every chance I get. I'm not gonna let you preach your little idolatrous doctrine in San Diego. I'm gonna tear you down with the word of God and every time I see you guys. That's about it. We got a good 220, almost 250 flyers out. Definitely thank the Lord. Hopefully these flyers will deal with some man's heart, some woman's heart, some child's heart to where they'll watch the video. It'll be that one video that caused them repentance. That one video that say, hey, man, I got to get my life with the Almighty. Definitely thank the Lord. I was handing out flyers today, and a guy seen me coming. And he says, don't hand it on my door. No, thank you. I'm a Catholic. And I was like, man, that's sad. That's sad because you don't study the scriptures. That's sad because you don't seek salvation enough to seek the things of the Lord. You're praying to Mary. And the Bible says there's only one mediator between God and man. That's the man Christ, Yeshua, people call Jesus. How can you be so firm that when truth comes, you deny it with not even considering it? And you don't even consider the word of God and you stay a Catholic knowing that you're praying to some saints and praying to some Mary, which cannot save you. If you read the Bible, Mary had to be baptized to be saved, just like every single person else today needs to be baptized to be saved. But I thank the Lord. Hopefully it gets into the hearts of people that's hungry and thirsty. It says many are called, but few are chosen. Hopefully we reach those few that are chosen, those few that say, hey, I'll put these things down and I'll be saved. I'll put that down. I'll pick this up. I'll do what it takes that I can save my soul from eternal damnation. So with all that being said, stay encouraged. Keep standing. Don't drop standards.